first order of business we have is uh, I'd like to congratulate Supervisor Culp uh, on her election to the board, and Judge uh, Judge Gill is here tonight to swear her in. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. At this time, I make a motion to appoint Mr. Pomorski as temporary chairman to start the January 4, 2016 reorganizational meeting of East Fallowfield Township. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Close. Unanimous. Uh, I make a motion to appoint Mr. Steve Herzog as the 2016 <coughs> Board of Supervisors chairman. Second. Questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Make a motion to appoint Mr. Pomorski as the 2016 Board of Supervisors <laughs> Vice Chairman. Second. Questions or comments? All those in favor? Aye. Nay. Aye. Aye. Can we open the motion then? I make a motion that we appoint. Uh, Mr. Ed Porter, the 2016 Board of Supervisors, Vice Chairman. Second. 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 All those in favor? I'm sorry, any, any comments? All those in favor? Nay.
Uh, appointment of Township Solicitor. I make a motion to appoint the firm of Lamb Macrolane PC for the 2016 year. At rate of $200 per hour for general municipal legal services and paralegal services at $125 per hour. Second. Questions or comments? Yeah. How is the $200 rate determined? The, that's the rate that we were given by the by Land Macaulay. Is it negotiated? Is, are there other attorneys given opportunity? Uh, it was it, not put out for last year, no. Was it confirmed as kind of the going rate for this type of services? Uh, it's within line of yeah. what we've been spending. Yeah, yeah. It's reasonable over the past years? It was, All right. It was $195 last year for the um, actual rate for the lawyers and then $120 per hour for their legal, so it went up $5 per hour. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Any other questions or comments? Yeah, thank you. I would oppose the appointment of Land Magdalene for two reasons that I have been <laughs> in the past uh, six months. One being uh, the firm promoted a waiver of a person who wanted to chop down numerous trees. Our ordinance calls for the replacement of those trees and the solicitor moved in favor of cutting down the trees and waiving that ordinance or rule to plant new trees. And then secondly, at another time when I addressed that the township was not adhering to second class code, Mr. Pompo didn't even have a copy of the second class code with him so I gave it to him and I read it and then the chair of the Board of Supervisors, who's a lawyer, put the police in my face and said that I would be removed if I continued speaking. So for those two very strong purposes, I would not wish the Board to appoint Liam Macaroni. Any other questions or comments? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Nay. <coughs> what was your vote? Yeah. Steve, I'm going to make a motion here. I make a motion to appoint the firm of Sienna, Belwar, and Andrew LLP for the 2016 year at the rate of $195 per an hour for general municipality and municipal legal services and paralegal services at $120 per hour. Do I have a second? Second. Uh, yeah, this, I mean, my, my first question is, uh, for a savings of $5 an hour, why would we replace our, our firm right now with 
CM on who has, who does not have the history that Glenn Mackerman has with us. I mean, to me, if we replace Glenn Mackerman and CM for five dollars an hour, we're probably going to get double bill because CM is going to be contacting Glenn Mackerman for questions they may have regarding things that we've done in the past. Good question, Joe. Um, I might be able to help you answer that. Answer your question. I spoke with Eric Brown. As, as you know, you hired Eric Brown, um, who's currently working for the township for union negotiations for the Public Works Department. Yeah. That firm does handle land development, and it's one of the unique firms that handles union negotiations. Um, we'll also have a police contract that we're negotiating with where this firm can help out. This board also talked about doing a handbook, and this, this current firm of uh, Sienna has stated they can help us with the employee handbook. They are coming in at $5 worth of savings true versus plan macro lane, um, but they also provide training. Um, they said they'll be able to provide training uh, free of service for the most part for our employees, which they'll be given a certificate in legal um, areas, which will go into their file. Um, and it's just a competing rate. It, they are working within the township at this time, and it's just a move to um, basically incorporate one attorney firm that can handle everything for us versus outsourcing to this firm already for numerous things that we've discussed or we're already acting upon. Yeah, but, I mean, have you been, have you been happy with the service they provide to us? Um, they provided the, the exact service um, that we've asked for. They, they, they have stated that they're not here to become the sixth uh, board of, uh, a sixth supervisor on the board of supervisors. And as far as their interactions with Lamb McElhaney, they do have um, engagements with them on many levels. and. Eric said, for the most part, to gather anything from that firm um, is not at a substantial cost. They, they do other dealings with land and land, so they're able to get anything um, that they necessarily need from them. There isn't a lot going on before the township at all as far as any legal battles other than what Sienna is handling for us right now with the Public Works Department. Yeah, but that's been, no. I think we would agree on that, and that's been a, a, a certain roller coaster ride. Um, not because of the law firm. <laughs> Law firms doing exactly. I mean, when the board asks the attorney to show up, they're going to show up. And if the board doesn't ask the attorney to go home, I don't blame them. They're in the business of making money. That's part of their part of their um, engagement as, as what they do for a living. So if the board's just going to keep inviting them and um, not sending, you know, and, and sitting with them for hours, just like in anyone's personal life, they're going to have a bill presented to the board. I think maybe we should have we should be uh, more prudent. Of when we're inviting them in versus having possibly an executive session to discuss some of the issues amongst the board. Um, there's been times when there's only one supervisor present when, when this law firm shows up, and you know, I'm just as guilty as not being there as well for some of these meetings. So, I, yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I, I certainly, I'm with you on that. I, I don't, I don't know, I, I don't, um, it's a strong firm. Here, here's my thing I, I yeah, I, I think Lamb's stronger. I just don't understand, I don't know that it makes sense for the savings of five dollars an hour to switch. I mean, I'm very comfortable with JP and with Vince. And again, I, I don't, I, I, don't know, I realize you said Eric Brown said that there won't be a lot of, you said there won't be a lot of legal fees for going back and forth with land. Well, I mean, there's nothing really before the board. I mean, the only thing we have right now is really the public works department. Yeah, but every time we have something comes up from 10 years, well, you know, Scott Forum comes up, he's got to contact Land Mackerley. Paying not only Eric's fees, but we're paying Lamb's fees also. He just said they need to acquire the folder. That's it. It's not uncommon for you know anyone to switch attorneys, and the attorney will you know as as part of, of the courtesy. Um, you know, I'm not uh, you know that they would turn over the files to them. I mean, Sienna does have a working relationship with Lamb McElhaney. Um, Lamb McElhaney actually recommended Sienna to us. That's how Sienna came to be. Yeah, for, um, for the contract negotiations. I understand that. Sure. But it's, I, I think negotiating a contract with the, with the road crew with the police department is different than having the solicitor represent you, represent the board of supervisors. They also, they handle... And I realize it's one of the things they do. Yeah, they handle Wallace Township, they handle other municipalities, um, they also they handle land development, they handle everything <coughs> basically that land record would, including union negotiations and union contracts, and that's why they were recommended by Lamb's Law Firm for us. Right. Um, so there's a savings there. I mean, um, we also will be able to control... The solicitor's cost, which this board has never done. I mean, the board of supervisors, the solicitor serves according to the second class township code, <coughs> at the will of the board.
of Supervisors. Basically, our policy has been anyone in, can basically contact a solicitor and they're on the phone talking to them. And who knows if it's a repeat a question by two Board of Supervisors members or if someone in the Planning Commission is asking a question that the Board of Supervisors hasn't asked. We need to develop a policy in, as far as how we contact the solicitor, what questions are being asked, and see if we can schedule those questions to be possibly asked at a public meeting versus anyone's getting on the phone with, with the solicitor and racking up a legal bill. I mean, we can do a lot to control costs, not just at the FIDAR level, but also a policy within this township to control legal costs by who has the ability to contact the solicitor uh, outside of an emergency. That would be, yeah, yeah that's, that's true regardless of where it is, whether it's Seattle or whether it's land. Well, this is a, maybe a new day for, for some things. And here's a chance. I mean, if we're going to be in police negotiations, if we're, we need to get a handbook finished, I mean, Sienna has told us um, that they're able to help us with, with both of those parts. Um, and they, they also handle um, municipalities. Why not just put it all into one instead of paying two different, um, basically, attorney firms for two different things. Here's a chance to save, I mean, I know it's not substantial, the $5 on both parts, but it is a strong firm as well, demanding its cost, and um, you know, it's a chance for you know, the township to, to make this change. I understand, I completely understand your concerns, but I mean, we can bring it to a vote. At the cost, though, I'm not sure, at the services level, since it's a service and not a purchase, but don't Things like that have to go out to bid. I mean, we didn't put out bids last year for a new firm. Yeah, we didn't. We never posted this. I mean, you don't have to. We don't. Is that why you're still here? Is that true? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I know for certain purchases above this? a certain level. No, we contacted. I mean, obviously, you contacted Sienna, but at, I mean, who gave you the discretion to contact Sienna? I have discretion just of myself to bring that. I made a motion before the board. It hasn't passed. I made a motion before the board. I don't have control of this board. I just made a, I mean, one motion failed that was posted to the board. I'm making a second motion as an alternative. Um, we did put this list out for bid, and we had all kinds of rates come in. And without any reasoning, we selected the same firm um, in 2012. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you have every right to choose who you want to represent the township for legal representation. The second class township code doesn't say it has to go up with it. And, you know, I'm making the motion. It doesn't guarantee that it's going to pass, Joe, but I just made a motion. It's on the floor, and that's it. So uh, I call for a vote. Just to answer a yeah, yeah, question, I, I, there's no block to, you know, the supervisor said right under second class township code serves at the, the will of the board. That's yeah. the will of the majority of the board. In the past, it has been a bid. Uh, that was a procedure last time. I think there was an interim uh, land record link state as an interim solicitor involved that uh, That was a, a past procedure. But one thing I uh, just correct in terms of supervisor, in terms of employee handbook, we do have staff in it. It's something that we routinely handle uh, in terms of the depth of the practice. I, you know, I've, my firm, of course. I, and and uh, please, JP, it's not personal. I, I think you're a good attorney. Right, and if there's, that's a yeah. very specific yeah. issue to raise, I just want to make sure that sure. I say on public record okay. in discussion that our firm would handle this. And I'm also not sure if the $5 difference is a difference. In other words, whether you can stay with the American League, was a difference of $5 or if it's a change. Right, it's, it's not necessarily on that GP. And they do bill in the same increments currently as, as a um, land library. So they, they are billing for a contract or whatever, you know, whatever that condition is. It's the same as land So you were saying if I, if I went back to Vince and asked for a $5 difference, that would be an it, right now, not for me, not for the motion I put on the table. I mean, only because of the things that are going on right now for this township, um, we might you know, possibly save in certain ways with Sienna, given that we have a public works department um, contract going on, maybe as their representation or as a solicitor it might save us some money, and then we do have a police contract coming up this year that your firm has represented us twice, and, you know, and um, we're aware of the outcome of some of those things. So I just have a motion on the floor. Again, I'm just one supervisor making a motion. Any other questions? Sure. Is it a conflict of interest to have
not the same solicitor and for like the public works or anything? No. Mr. Sanchez, if, if the vote is that you go feel the firm, is Mr. Sanchez released yes. the remainder of this meeting? Yes. Uh, okay. I realize this is a organiz reorganizational meeting. Um, would it be possible to table us to the next meeting to make the motion to change so we can have a solicitor here to hold me? Some, some townships, I mean, do not have the solicitor present. I mean, everything's pretty much cookie cutter going through this whole thing. Everything's, it's just a reorganization meeting. Everything's spelled out completely. In fact, well, I, I would, I'd prefer to have the solicitor here, especially if the budget's reopened, for several reasons. Um, I mean, it's, it's not a bad idea to table it either, because we can then go back to Land Macaulay and see if they'll, maybe they'll stay at 195. And then, to me, it's a, it's a no brainer. It's already a no brainer to me. But it makes sense, and you're, you're paying the same hourly rate. I think, I think there's a motion on the floor. We have to vote on it. What's, what's your reasoning for going to Santa Chuck? I'm pretty much in the same, the same boat. I, I don't see having two different solicitors when we have a negotiation on the union contract. Why should we have to go outside, hire another entity to come in and settle it when we can do some, have somebody in house who's handling it? It's not in house, it's we wrote so we can do it with your contract in house. It's just a different firm. So, Negotiating a contract for a road department or police department is a lot different than having legal representation for board of supervisors. Um, to me, making you know, saving five dollars an hour is, is not anywhere. It's not a significant amount of savings. First of all, when you look at what the budget is. Um, and, and second of all, again, I, I don't see. I, I and, and again, maybe I'm wrong by saying this, but I, I don't think that anybody's been real thrilled with the service they provided to us already. That might be your opinion, Joe, but at the same time, when we did have lower That was your opinion, too, Ed. No, we'll talk about this. No, no it's not an opinion. Okay. No, my opinion about, about anything going on there is that the Board of Supervisors aren't... I mean, Joe, you're entitled to what you're saying. I understand. I mean, I'm not offending you or anything. No, but at the same time, I do know I do know that I watched the majority of the Board put the solicitor out for bid, and then when we did get lower bids that were, like, substantial, you know, 150, 160, somehow a firm put their application in, um, overnighted it, and then the very next day withdrew it. Nothing, nothing strange there. Um, so we had a lot of things go on, and then all of a sudden we select the same firm. You know, so I don't think the price, as far as what I saw the last time with the board, even matters. I mean, so it's not five dollars, fifty dollars. If it was a hundred dollars, I don't think the board um, at that time was going to make a change anyway. I'm making, I'm just asking for a vote on this motion. Um, it is, it is a, a, a strong firm. Um, I, I believe. In work, um, what I've seen from that firm, as far as them pointing out problems or things that need to be corrected, and you know, possibly falling on on uh, deaf ears, but at least they're they're not they're not going to act like a sick supervisor. And I'm not implying that the current firm is. I'm just saying that their job. You're not implying, like you say. No, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Well, I think you are. Okay. Well, well, all right. Fine, Joe. I mean, Joe. I don't. I mean, I just put a motion on the floor. That's all. I mean, just asking for for a vote. That's all. So can we call a vote? There's a few other questions. Okay, sure. In the back there? Yeah, I have a reasonable question. Since this is a reorganizational meeting and you have it scheduled out in this paper you have to have this, why is the solicitor motion where you're going to remove a legal representation happening before everything else is on this list? That should be kind of at the end of the more important decisions, don't you think? And the idea to table it and then perhaps put it up for a bit as was suggested. What's wrong with that? I didn't schedule the. I, I didn't make the, uh, the agenda list. That's I'm why only I'm raising going. The question. <clears throat> What's up? That's why I'm raising the question. You bring, I mean, you bring up a question. I mean, quite frankly, we've had reorganization meetings where possibly no one was here as far as representation. It's happened before. Um, I understand the budget reopening is on there, but it doesn't mean that the budget's voted on tonight as far as any kind of changes or anything. If, you know, there could be a motion to reopen the budget. It might fail. And, and nothing's not, nothing's straight out of it. Remember, it has to be advertised for 20 days. So if there was any changes or an agreement on that, say, at the next workshop, we have 45 days to do that, it still has to be advertised to people. There's not some kind of, like, I don't want you to feel like we're making some fast move here, you know, in, in regards to that, because it still sure needs to be advertised. Like huh? It sure seems like it. Yeah. I think, it sure I think why not? It does, sure the motion does. failed. <coughs> the motion failed sure for the not. current firm. And would you give me, would you give me like the thought that maybe 
the internals of the township of any of these supervisors except Carol being up here. Maybe the supervisors might know a little bit more of some of the internals going on here than possibly the crowd. And and that's why you elected me. You elected us in general to oversee things. And of course, if I came into your place of work, I wouldn't know everything going on at your work as well. I mean, there's certain things I can talk about here, other things I can't. But I'm doing my best job to navigate this as far as what I've seen. And that's what I'm doing up here. There's stuff, I mean, this firm could easily be changed three months from now. But if we're making a change here as far as the motions on the floor. That's all. To answer your question, from my point of view, most of us did not know that this was going to happen. So, yeah, I had no idea. I think two of them did. No, I didn't, and uh, Steve, you didn't either, right? Did you guys all know this was going to happen? Yeah. So that's why it's where it's at, because you know, that's normally where it's at. Mr. Rudd? Yo. Yeah. 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 I just like to bring up one thing, and I, didn't, I think uh, just you, uh, Steve, and the other supervisors not here. The solicitor was here a couple months ago, and you cannot have a township meeting without a quorum, all right? In other words, it has to be three supervisors in order to have a meeting. That was last year. And that wasn't the case. Uh, Steve was here, and uh, Mark Toth. That was a we paid, That was last that, year. Did I speak? I'm speaking right now, Joe. <laughs> in reference to, it was only two supervisors. You cannot conduct a meeting. Township funds is spending me. The, land, the, the firm was here. He, he should have notified the other two supervisors at that time you could not conduct a meeting without a quorum. You, and the, of course, you can check the date. And other supervisors came here and, and made a complaint about it at a following uh, meeting. You also got a bill from that law firm for a meeting that should not have been, in the first case, when you don't have a quorum. The other thing I would say, and I've been here quite a few years, I called the organization meetings. And I would say, you know, once the motion is put on there, and of course all supervisors have a right to voice their opinion, and the residents have the right to voice their opinion. But I, I just think, in order to get on with this here, and the solicitor, and we're talking about putting it out for the bid, maybe a lot of the folks wouldn't hear it. They have put it out for the bid. They got about 30 different law firms to put in here. And I, I know particularly the one law firm dropped the number five hours because he was five hours more than one candidate. And the candidate, you know, we're talking about land firm. They dropped down five hours in order to be competitive with the other ones. And you can look back through there, and I'm sure you'll find all the solicitors that put the pigs in now for the township. And I happened to be here at that meeting. So the, the board at that time decided they would go with land. Now the motion was <coughs> put on it, to Mr. Chairman, on the thing there, and the gentleman can argue all night. I would like you five to make a decision tonight in reference to solicitor in order to go on with the rest of the agenda, which is appointing people to the other Planning Commission, the Zoning Commission, the Historic Commission, and and some of the other departments are, are important too. I happen to know I get a lot of the meetings, and believe me, the solicitor is not always there. And if that's what we hired you gentlemen for, to make it say, Only time you can have a solicitor if you know something's on the agenda that's going to cause for a legal response. That's the only time you do. I know townships that are bigger in this township don't have solicitors at their meetings. And if you gentlemen know, you get the bills. We don't get the bills. But the bills come in, and I don't knock any land, uh, law firm. They charge you from the time they leave, wherever they're located, and the, how long the meetings last. And <coughs> 195, 200 hours, whatever, that's what you're going to get charged for. Meetings usually run 600, 800 hours. We're talking about a budget that we're now going to charge all these residents in their homes. And a lot of people came here, and we could stock it with certain groups here, but there's a lot of, the majority did not come out. 
It's a cold night. We're talking people in the 70s and 80s that have a home and they can't make it. 